Good morning, Quadcopter 101. What I got for you today is a neat new aircraft. This is the Ishin E010C. Looking at the E010C, you see it is an FPV micro quadcopter, but what's so special about it? It's really <laughs> just an upgrade to the basic Ishin E010. Now, the Ishin E010C comes packaged in an E010 uh, box with the cowling and everything. All it is is they also package with this with this uh, quadcopter this EF-02 uh, L1 camera. Now all you need to do it comes as a kit actually. You need to remove the cowling off the E010, and then uh, they, this camera comes with some double-sided sticky tape that you stick to the top of the flight control board, and then plug in the camera. To the existing camera slot on the flight control board. So again, what it is is basically an E010 basic micro quadcopter with they bundle a all-in-one camera with it. It's a, it comes as a kit form. Now, what's the difference between this and say the E010S? Now, the E010S does not come with a toy uh, flight control board. This flight control board that comes with the E010 is not configurable. It is um, you can only fly it with auto stabilization in effect and you cannot program it. Um, the E010S comes with a flight control board, a uh, F3 flight control board that you can configure in beta flight to mod modify things such as its PIDs. Uh, additionally, um, this is not controlled via toy grade controller <laughs> such as this uh, for the E010. This is control, you control this through um, a you know, a hobby grade flight control, like uh, DSM-2, uh, FlySky, or FreeSky. Uh, there are th those different versions available for this. So, in, in effect, you can get much greater control and much greater range uh, with those type of quad or controllers with this particular quadcopter. Now, again, the E010C comes with a toy grade controller. Um, it is very simple, uh, very short range. Expect ranges out to about 20 meters with this. Um, you can't fly across this field in effect. It will fly out of range very easily. But it's more than sufficient for flying around indoors in the house. I've done it, gone from room to room. It does work. But again, its range is rather limited to about 20 meters. So let's go for a flight of the E010C and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I'm recording. I'm gonna be using my uh, VRD2 goggles today from Ishing. Uh, some, some people have noticed I haven't been using these to fly, I've just been recording. But you can also use them to fly with, so here we go. Again, we're flying in angle mode only. And let's see if I can increase the rates. <laughs> the right button is the flip and the left button is the right. So let's see if I can go around these trees here. Yeah, I can. Going around. Going around the other way. So, you know, just simple, simple close in flying with this particular little quadcopter. You know, don't expect high speed flying, it's just for flying Woo! around the house. Woo! Very basic, very close Woo! in. So, <laughs> there's some kids over there my dog barking at. It's fine. Um, again, not very high speed though. You know, it's just a basic toy grade quadcopter. I keep tilting my head up here, trying to get uh, increased view. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> I don't know why I, I tried to do that. <laughs> Let's see if I can go around these trees here. No. Oops. Oops, there I go. Hold on, folks. Okay, I'll go get it. Okay, I still can see it, but I got a feeling that uh, there's not much more power left in this. So I'm going to bind it again. Let's see if I can get it to take off from here. Here we go. Oh, I still got power. So, I'm going to intermediate or intermediate rate to get some speed on it. You know, don't expect this to be flying high speed. It's got beginner and intermediate rate. This is about as fast as you're going to go. Um, it's mainly, again, intended for flying around the house, room to room, close in, and that's what it does. <laughs> cheap, cheap quadcopter to be able to, to actually experience flying FPV. And that's what I'm doing. 
There's a wind picking up here. That's why I'm tilted so much here, I'm fighting the wind. Let's see if I can go around this uh, soccer slash football net and <laughs> come back to us. You just let the wind blow us back. Oh no, that's it. That's ain't no more wind. It. All right, ain't no more power. So that's about the flight time you get. Don't expect a long flight time with these. It's just a couple minutes only because you're powering both both this. Uh, see that tape is holding that in place. You're powering both this uh, FPV camera, which is also drawing power, and also powering the quadcopter. And again, this is just held in place by sticky tape, so it, it tends to push up and off sometimes, especially after a crash like that. So very simple, but it works. So hope you enjoyed this flight of the E010C. It's Quadcopter 101. Signing out.